Hello, good to see you, Mr. Farrah here. I'm going to show you some exercises that you could do in any space that you've got at home, or in the garden, in a park. We're going to start off with a little bit of a warm up. I've got some music and some tunes in the background to help me. I've also got a little bit of light to help me as well. And we'll start off this warm up with a little bit of a calf stretch. So I'm going to go gentle with a little march on the spot, jog on the spot, stop and come up onto my tiptoes, roll back onto my heels, okay? If you feel like you want to do these exercises onto a chair, then you can. Take a seat, have a little march on the spot, on your chair, stretch out your calves the same way, okay? I'm going to try this upright, those are those calf stretches that I was telling you about, Onto your tiptoes, rocking back onto your heels. Now I'm looking at my hamstring stretches now. Turn to the side so I can show you a little bit better. So it's a march on the spot, and it's a kick out in front of you. Make sure you haven't got anything in front of you that you can kick over. If you want a really good stretch, imagine you're kicking a wall and scraping your foot down that wall. Good use of your imagination, I'm thinking. A little bit of a kick out of a football. Brilliant. I feel my hamstrings are stretched out. I'm getting ready for a bit of exercise with this warm up. I'm going to have a little march on the spot again. This time I'm going to stretch my groin muscles. Okay, so I'm going to have a march on the spot, lift up my leg, take it out to the side. So we call these over the gates. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's looking like we're going over a gate. I'll show you from the side. Okay. If you wanted to go to a different groin stretch, have a little march on the spot, squat down. I've got a little bit of space, so I'm going to have a little walk around at the same time. Okay, leg shoulder width apart, stretch out those groin muscles. Oh, a bit of Sophie Ellis Beck's doing in the background, good stuff. Okay, I'm ready for my workout. I've got my stopwatch, it's going to help me. You might have a phone that will help you count the time out. Or you might have somebody at home that will count the seconds out for you. I'm just going to go for 30 seconds for a jog on the spot. Start my stopwatch. And then go. I can feel my brain switching on already. Telling my body that we're doing some physical activity. And it's a good feeling. Oh, I've gone into a little bit of a sprint. I'll show you from the side what I'm doing. I'm using my hands and my arms at the same time. Lifting those feet up, getting those knees up a little bit higher for the last few seconds. 30 seconds. Stop there. Have a little bit of a rest. Use your chair if you want to. Take a seat and then go into your next exercise. My next exercise is a hip twist. Okay, so I'm going to get my legs shoulder width apart. I'm just going to rotate my hip and waist. 30 seconds. To get my hip and waist flexing and moving. Okay, reset my watch. 30 seconds. Let's go for it. Okay. Oh, I've got a bit of Sam Smith now in the background. I can feel sweating a little bit just from the warm up. In a couple of minutes of exercise already, and I can feel the body changing in terms of a little bit of sweat and a little bit of out breath. It's good. It's a good feeling. Look at my watch, last few seconds. And then bring that to a stop. You might want to have a walk in between, gently just stretch out your muscles, shake off your muscles. And I'm looking to my next exercise, which is going to be a wall press up. Okay, so I'm going to find myself a little bit of wall, put my hands against it, legs together, feet together, back nice and straight, I'm going to bend my elbows. Push down and then come back up. Okay? 30 seconds. That's my press up. Okay? Again, if you want to do this using a chair, take your chair. Okay? Just gently bend your elbows and then come back up. Make sure your chair is nice and steady there. Looking at my watch, last few seconds. 
Oh, a bit of, bit of aches, bit of creaking, bit of crackling from the muscles there, but that's good. The exercise will help here. Okay, I'm looking at my next exercise, it's going to be a squat. My favourite squat. Okay, so I'm going to get myself psyched up for this. Get my Sam Smith in the background ready. Start my watch. Here we go. Different ways you can do a squat. There's this way. Bring your elbows down, hands together. We can put your hands in front of you. Squat down, legs shoulder width apart. I know some people like to go a little bit further down with their squat. That's too hard for me. I might want to take it to a chair and try legs shoulder width apart. Getting up, sitting back down, take my hands away, getting up, sitting back down, last few seconds, and then hold it there. Wow, I feel really good already. Just from those few bits of exercise, warm up, and then those exercises afterwards, it's really helping me. I want to keep this going. We're going to do a jog and a jab. I'm resetting my watch for it. I'll show you from the side. I'm going to jog on the spot, and then I'm going to jab in front of me for 30 seconds. The higher you get your knees, and the more you jab, the benefits will be there, but you'll sweat just that little bit more. you feel good afterwards. I'm going to start my timer. Here we go. And I'm really going to release some of that energy that I have from doing this exercise. I'm gonna feel good from doing it, I'm sure. If you're jabbing in front of you, you feel like a change, and you might wanna go into an uppercut and a jog on the spot. Wow, I can really feel it. Get a little bit out of breath, might jog up in the air, and then hold it there, 30 seconds is up. Well done, so they're the exercises that you could do for your workout. After you've done that, go into a little bit of a cool down, static stretching, allowing yourself to take a deep breath, breathe out. Okay, do each stretch for about seven seconds. Allow yourself to take a deep breath. Go into a different stretch, and then go into a groin stretch and pick up my water at the same time, because that's important for your cool down. Brilliant. Feeling good. Change sides. Feeling like I can take on the day with just that little bit of exercise. Warm up, bit of a workout, cool down. Brilliant. Stretch out shoulder muscles. And that, that is it. So give that a go. Hope you feel good after doing it. Thumb up.